I got a package in the mail today, and guess who we're doing next? We're doing Uline. We're, we're kind of doing Uline. Uline is an all-purpose uh, shipping supply company, and they do carry oxygen absorbers and food storage bags. But there's a bit of a twist with Uline, and I wouldn't normally do this, but I wanted to see what they have. So I contacted Uline and they sent me uh, a sample of bags. They sent me four bags here. And these bags, I don't think, well, they could be suited for freeze dryer application and for prepping. But the problem with these bags is, well, in their description, they call them metallized food bags and they they say that they're a two and a half, uh, two and a half mil poly bag. So they don't claim to be mylar, which is good. But at two and a half, these bags are really, really thin. And uh, one of the problems with Uline is they kind of deal in bulk. Uh, to get one order of bags is 500 bags. So that's the minimum purchase is 500. And that's two hundred and forty dollars for the bags. Now they also have oxygen absorbers, but their oxygen absorbers—they're uh, three hundred cc's, but they only come in lots of two thousand for one hundred and sixty dollars. So, if you're going to be buying from Uline, you're going to be getting a lot of stuff. The prices aren't too bad, but it's the quantity, and it would take me a long time to go through five hundred. Uh, food storage bags and 2,000 oxygen absorbers. And like I said, the bags are really thin, but I'm gonna go ahead and test them anyway. Now, they sent me some sample bags, but they were not able to send me any sample oxygen absorbers because they're in such large quantities. Uh, the oxygen absorbers that Uline carries are made by OxyGuard, which I can't remember if I've tested those before, but it's a pretty decent product. So we're gonna skip the oxygen absorbers. We're gonna delve into the, the food storage bags and run all the tests on them and see how they come out. We have the Uline bag here and it's like the traditional bag. A measurement, it's a one gallon bag. It's 14 uh, inches by 10 inches. Uh, sealed all the way around three ends. There are no tear strips on this no gussets, it's, it's foil, and they say it's a two-layer two bag. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to verify the thickness, and I don't think there's gonna be really an issue on that, but we're gonna do it anyway. and the inside is about as reflective as the outside. So we have our thickness tester and we're gonna go ahead and take the readings. Did 30 readings and would come up at an average is 2.6 mil. So Uline says this is a 2.5, 2.6. No problems with the thickness of the bag. Uline 2.5 mil foil bag puncture test.
Uline 2.5 mil tensile test. Uline 2.5 mil burst test. Okay, this one did not burst on the side seam. It actually just burst on the front, about four inches from the side seam. We're going to take a quick look at Uline's website on their oxygen absorbers. And so you can see right here that they do have 300 oxygen absorbers, which are going to be two by two and uh, three eighths. And they're saying it protects uh, 100 cubic inches. I'm not sure what we'll, that we'll come down as percentage or not. And they have the prices per carton at $160 and 2000 oxygen absorbers is a minimum purchase. Uh, if we come here and click on the 300 CC, kind of gives you a, an idea what they look like, a little more information, and an additional information, if we click down here, we can get the SDS sheet. And on the SDS sheet, uh, it looks like the identifying company is out of North Carolina, so it doesn't look like that this is a foreign overseas uh, manufacturer. And if we come down to section three, which is supposed to have all the uh, chemical uh, chemical elements, they're just basically really sidestepping the spirit of what an SDS sheet is by just saying it's a mixture. And they're really not giving any idea of any iron content or any secondary chemicals. They do have a statement here that says this material is not considered hazardous by OSHA. So the SDS in this case does not really provide any uh, substantial information. These are the bags that Uline offers and a lot of their bags are gonna be transparent, which in the food industry is not good because it that doesn't have any way of blocking UV light. So if we take a look at metallized food bags, this is gonna be our choice here. And if we come down to our open end food bags, you can see our choice of bags here. So this is right here and they do come out and they say it's a 2.5 mil poly bag. Uh, they're not claiming to have any mylar in that. And it's probably a very true. Down here, 500 a minimum uh, purchase for $140. And since they're so thin, I would not purchase these. I mean, they may be good for other types of food, but I'd be very concerned about how well they stand up. So we're gonna go on and compare Uline to all the other manufacturers and see how, they, uh, how their bags hold up. If we take a look at the puncture test, Uline doesn't do the worst. Uh, at a 2.5 mil bag, they actually performed a little bit better than Vacuum Sealers Unlimited as a five mil bag, but still they're down on the, towards the bottom of the uh, slide here compared to everybody else.
on the tensile and burst test, Uline wasn't the worst, but they weren't the best either. With uh, nine pounds of tensile test and 4.9 uh, PSI on burst, they're kind of an outlier where everyone else here is kind of grouped together in this area there. So my recommendations for Uline, I would not use them. They're not a bad company, but I don't think they have the materials really necessary for prepping and for freeze drying. Once again, I hope you found this helpful. Uline is just one of many other companies out there. They got some good products and I use a lot of their products all the time at work, but for food storage, I'd make a pass. Thank you for your time. I hope you found this uh, enlightening and helpful. Please subscribe to keep the pro process going and go forth and freeze dry the world.